Fort McKinley was once a large tract of land covering Rizal province that the U.S. government acquired in 1902 and 1906 for use as a military reservation. The base was named after the 25th President of the United States, President William McKinley. The reservation served as the headquarters of the Philippine Scouts, the Philippine Division of the U.S. Army, and the U.S. Army Forces in the Far East, or USAFE. The Philippine Scouts were the first troops to be stationed at Fort McKinley. At the onset of the Second World War in the Pacific in 1941, Fort McKinley served as a stronghold of the United States Army Forces in the Far East. On December 7, 1941, Japanese fighter planes attacked Pearl Harbor. Immediately after, Japan launched another attack on the Philippine Islands. Clark Field, Nichols Airfield and Sangley Point were simultaneously bombed. Manila, which was then declared an open city, was occupied by the Japanese forces on January 2, 1942. The Commander-in-Chief of the Japanese Imperial Forces, General Masaharu Homa, then declared the end of the U.S. occupation in the Philippines. The defense of the islands continued until the final surrender of the Philippine and United States forces on the Bataan Peninsula in April of 1942 and on the Corregidor Island Fortress in May. In fulfillment of his promise to return, General Douglas MacArthur and his forces landed on the island of Leyte on October 20, 1944 to liberate Manila. People of the Philippines, I have returned. The liberation of Manila, also known as the Battle for Manila, lasted for a month from February to March 1945. By then, Fort McKinley has been transformed into one of the most heavily fortified positions in the Pacific War, where Japanese bombers and naval guns were positioned. The Japanese deployed their veteran Imperial Marines, naval troops, and Kempitai to muster over 3,000 troops to defend Fort McKinley and Nichols Field. Operations for the retaking of Fort McKinley began on February 4, 1945. It was led by the 47th ROTC Division of the Hunters ROTC Guerrilla under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Emmanuel de Ocampo. Other hunter units under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Juan Darpa also figured in the operations. The marking unit, Hill American Irregular Troops and the U.S. 11th Airborne Division also fought against a superior Japanese naval force under Admiral Iwabuchi over control of Nichols Airfield and Fort McKinley. On February 9 and 10, units of the 1st Cavalry Division crossed the Pasig River and fanned out in three directions toward Manila Bay in the west, Nielsen Field in the south, and Fort McKinley on the southeast together with the markings and Phil American irregular troops strategically surrounding the Japanese positions. The hunters launched their offensive on February 12 against fierce Japanese resistance. The hunters ROTC overcame the superiority in arms and numbers of the opponent by penetrating enemy lines under cover of dark. The hunters commenced fighting from the rear, causing confusion. This unconventional maneuver showed the Filipinos tactical acumen, courage, and ability to triumph against overwhelming odds. After days and nights of heavy fight, Filipino and American forces finally overwhelmed the superior Japanese naval forces on February 15 to 16, 1945. This historic encounter had become widely known today as the Battle of Fort McKinley and Nichols Airfield. Manila and the rest of the Philippine Islands were eventually liberated from Japanese rule. In 1946, the U.S. granted independence to the Philippine Islands, 
Three years after, Fort McKinley was turned over to the Philippine government. On June 12, 1957, Philippine President Carlos P. Garcia issued Proclamation No. 423, reserving Fort McKinley for military purposes. On February 14, 1964, by virtue of General Order No. 192, Fort McKinley was renamed Fort Andres Bonifacio in honor of the founder of the Katipunan, Gat Andres Bonifacio. Over the years, Fort Bonifacio has transformed into a sprawling city. Once a vast military reservation, Fort Bonifacio has rapidly grown into a prime business district and trendy urban center since the massive commercial development and privatization in the 1990s. Presidential Proclamation Number 653, promulgated on September 18, 1995, it concerned local government units to commemorate annually the anniversaries of significant events related to the liberation of the Philippines during the Second World War. Today, the Philippine Army commemorates the historic retaking of Fort McKinley and honors the Second World War veteran. The retaking of Fort McKinley is one of the many battles that eventually led to the liberation of the Philippines from the Japanese 